the first day of proper training at Fort Lauderdale Lifeguard Camp, and Dublin's Kira has already pushed herself to breaking point. She's sitting out the course. The rest of the junior guards are about to commence the most important trials of all, to see if they'll become an elite cadet or a rookie. All right, get your stuff together, buoys. Get ready to go. And the US junior guards know just how important the two groups are. The rookies are the ones who are not necessarily the experienced ones, and they're still learning. Now, the cadets, they, they don't get off too easily because they still have to work just as hard, show Chris that he made the right decision. We're gonna do a run, swim, run. One of the qualifiers to split you guys up from rookies to cadets. The cadet's the top guy you wanna be. That's how you pass this class. The rookies, the ones that won't make it through. Most definitely, Michael is a cadet. He is a monster of Naruto. He was born for this. And also, uh, little Sean. He's like, he wouldn't think it, but he's actually a rocket launcher in that water. Unreal. I hope I'm a cadet. I'm just going to grit my teeth and try and get through it. I really want to be a cadet. Like, I, I would actually be devastated if I were a rookie today. Give it your best, guys. You're in the hands of the starter. Go! So it's a quick dash to the shoreline, a 400 meter swim to the boy and back, and a sprint finish. What I'm looking for in our cadets are uh, not only the top swimmers or the athletes, but the people that are going to give me 110%. I think Michael will be good. He's uh, coming out of the water right now. So we'll see how he holds up. Ex-junior guard and this year's trainee instructor, Leon, is impressed. Good work, good work. Michael's the best of the eight. He's better than a couple of our guards, probably, so far. JJ, you better catch him. Well, Michael's won. He's going to be first in on the run, swim, run. Impressive. Good job, Michael. Yeah, I came first and there, and I'm really proud of myself. Didn't expect to do that well. Hopefully, yeah, that's enough to get me into cadets. You all right? There. Uh, you you <laughs> killed yourself there, huh? Yeah. Sligo's Mirren is also doing well. She's the first Irish girl out of the water. Good work, good work. Way to beat half of Florida. <laughs> Come on, run it in. Come here, come here. You all right? Yeah. Impressive. I think you did a good job there. Thank good you, job. Chris. Okay, go get some water. I'd like to have impressed Chris. Like, that's all I wanted at the end of the day. I think about a few of the Americans here, too. I was pretty happy with them. That was tough. <sighs> now the pressure falls on the rest of the Irish to keep the standard up. Big Sean comes third for the Irish, followed by Jessica. Jess, did you put your face in the water? No? Can we work on that this week? Yeah. Let me tell you something. 7.56, that's not bad at all. Moin. Next is Dylan. Moin inhaler. And once again, he's fallen over the line. My inhaler. I just really needed my inhaler because I really pushed myself and I have a shortage of breath. But has he done enough to impress Coach Chris? You got it? It's Dylan, I gotta tell you, he tried. His time wasn't that impressive, but he tried 100% because nobody breathing that hard needs his asthma inhaler. He's starting to uh, show me what he's got, so I like it. Last in is Emily, a good two minutes behind the rest, but she didn't need to be rescued. All right, 10.20, failed. You know, I failed the first challenge, but I passed it in my case because I actually got through it and I stuck to it and I ran the whole way back. So, you know, for me, I passed, but sure. I know I have to bump up the standard now. With Emily finishing a race for the first time and the next test coming up, Dublin's Kira wants to get back to it. Hi, Kira. Okay. She asked instructor Crystal for help. Uh, Kate was telling me, I just feel like really beat down. Like I can swim and I can do the swims fine but I don't run right. at all. So wow. the running and all the, the, the 
you know, the holding the stretches stuff. Mm -hmm. That just, like, I've never done it. And it, I think, I don't know what was wrong with me. I just, when I was made, when I had to do it, I just find it so difficult. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure too. Yeah. Were you no. being picked out of the group? Yeah. Yeah. And you have to know, like, Chris, he doesn't hate you. You know what I'm saying? Put a spin on it and say, in, in your mind, know that he's trying to get the best out of you. Yeah. You know, even though he's hard on you and, and just kind of let that go through one ear and out the other and know that after every workout, you're going to get a break. Yeah. And the trick to running in the sand is, is not stopping. Chris doesn't care how fast you're going. He just doesn't want to ever see you walk. Yeah. So the next run you guys do, don't stop. Nice and easy. Keep everything tight. Keep your arms down here at your waist and yeah. keep your chest up and your head up. And when you run like this, when you're tired, you can't get any oxygen into your lungs, yeah. you know? You can do it. It's yeah. just in your mind that you can't. Thank you. Thank we'll just you take it nice much. and easy. Thank you. You'll be you'll be fine. Thank you. I do want to keep going. I don't want to give up and like let everybody down. I want to keep going. It's, it's going to be difficult though. There's just one more test today, and unfortunately for Kira, it's her Achilles heel, a 2K run. You guys ready? Yes, you are. Yes, I'm. Are you ready? Absolutely. Ready? You're in the hands of the starter. Go! Kira and instructor Crystal go at their own pace behind the rest of the field. That last run was just agonizing because we've done so much already and I thought I was gonna give up, but I just kept on doing it. The halfway point, everyone is feeling the burn. Jess, great. The run was pretty tough. The sun was absolutely scorching the ground. It was like walking in hot coals. And even Kira is seeing it through. The run was a lot better because I had Crystal, the lifeguard, running with me. And she just showed me like how to run like and not like stress yourself out. At the finish, Michael is just second behind the national champion, Fabrice. 158. Michael, good job. 206. Little Sean, good job. 210. Wow. Pretty happy with that. I really do want to be a cadet now. I didn't think I'd want it this much. Dylan and Big Sean are next in. Dylan, 221, 223. Big Sean, 227. Not bad. Jess, 233. Wow. This is the second time that Jessica has impressed Coach Chris today. Mirin, 240. Emily. 30 seconds behind, Emily finishes her second race. 312, girl, way to go. That praise just gives me the strength to just keep on going. And I'm just so happy I finished it. So back for more tomorrow, I'm ready. And Kira finally finishes her first. 347. Kira. What's going on? I don't know. I I just like I came here with a like a stupid idea in my head that I could just swim. Because I can't swim. But the running is just totally knocking me. Well listen, you're breathing hard right now. It means something to me. Don't give up. Okay. Alright? There's a reason why I'm hard. I expect you to try your best. Okay. I will, I, I will. I know you will. Thank you. All right, go get some water, Thank you very much. I was happy because he told me, said he sees like that I am trying. And obviously like he's doing it for a reason, so he's only gonna make me better. I'm gonna try really hard. The junior guards will have to wait until tomorrow to find out if they've made the cadet grade. Time to meet the U.S. guards after hours for a bit of beach football their way. We got to meet up with everyone and it's nice kind of it's a different scene from the training. It's yeah. not as stressful. The Irishers are pretty cool. I mean, it's fun to hang out with them and stuff. There's two teams, Mirren's versus Sean's. Mike's going to go that way and I'm going to go that way. We are going to run the ball down the end zone and win. American football is just a very complicated game. We don't, the Americans didn't even know what was going on, sure. It was interesting not knowing what we were actually doing out there, so it just was kind of going for it. It was really funny watching them. Come here, baby! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sean's team wins, and they're certainly not shy about it. We whipped their butts. We did. <laughs> there's no beating around the bush about it. Like, there's no sugar coating it either. They just got <laughs> trashed. And they seem to be checking out more than just the competition. I think the American boys are all lovely. They're all lovely and muscly and tan, so I think we definitely like them. <laughs> Everything is more exciting with Fabrice's involved. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Mike's flirting with the girls. <laughs> and like all the girls obviously like with their tans and like they're all so skinny and all like they are really pretty like. Yeah. I don't, I don't think know. anybody fancies him. Dylan is alright, he's pretty cool. Dylan's trying, he's failing miserably. <laughs> Dylan's pretty cool, he's really funny too. I think they like our accent. It's actually extremely hard for me to understand the Irish kids' accent. Three and boy. I think they did. Next time on Mission Beach. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> the Irish and US relations get closer. Emily, she's really nice. And the cadets and rookies are revealed. Cadet. Who makes the grade? That was very, very nerve-wracking.